Halloween. Hi, what's it? 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 Hi, no, I just panicked there. What is Taco Bell? It's so nice. Oshanti, Oshanti. Hello. Hi. 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 ガッシャンって言ったらもう今日撮影もなしにしよう。人生は考えます。<笑>おお危な。<笑>ごちそうさまでした。ドンキドンキドンキキドンキドンキドンキドンキの歌なんだっけ？ドンドンドンドンキドンキドンキ。We're in Mega Donkey and we're gonna look for Halloween costumes because I don't have any costumes. I am. Dressed like a normal human being. I got the suggestion that I should dress up as Michael Jackson because I kind of look like Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson when he was still black. Don Quixote is like a like a crazy store that has everything. It has food, drinks. What else is in Don Quixote? <laughs> um, Halloween costumes, drinks, sex toys. They have everything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, spooky season! Oh wow, everyone's looking for costumes now. Guys, everyone's looking for costumes. Everyone's last a minute today. Oh. Look at all those costumes. Oh my god. Oh. Children. <laughs> oh. Humans. Oh my god, so many people. Um, okay, anyways, we have a horror mask. Just the maybe this one? Oh, oh yeah! Oh, he got this one too? Yeah, he got it, right? Same. What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, you, you too? YouTube! You shoot video? YouTube! Same here! Oh, you're also YouTubing! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Go for it! <laughs> this is the pumpkin hat, like you said. Your head is too small, you don't want to buy it. Don't open your buying at the door. But this is a little bit better. This is a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Should I go like sexy cute? ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。ちょっと有名人。
I'm just gonna go to Roppongi because Shibuya no Don Quixote, Komisugi. Shibuya ga mo to ni kaku. Crazy. I'm scared. And I don't even have anyone to be guiding me tonight. I'm just gonna be enjoying this on my own. You guys are the chokamo. You guys are the chokamo. She just told me something really terrifying. There's a DJ police. What is it? DJ police? What does he do? Police. やめてくださいって、もうマイクで上から。台の上に立ってる。台の上に立ってる。DJポリスが出てくると危なくなったってことなんですって。DJポリスからなんて言えばいい。そう、ハロウィン楽しんでる。Alright, so I'm gonna pop in here to assist with the story development because, girl, the vlogging quality went down the drain immediately. So let's watch this together and see this chaos unfold because. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to Roppongi because Amani works at Roppongi and I ended up going to a Don Quixote there and bought fishnet tights and some parts of my costume. Honestly, I foreshadowed myself changing at Donki in that previous clip and I don't know what to feel about it. Like, I was so basic this Halloween. But honestly, basic is the new pink, you know? I hate Halloween. I don't like choosing costumes. Okay, I'm alone now and I got fishnets. That is the first part of my Halloween costume. I don't know what's gonna happen next. So once I got changed, I headed right onto the choo-choo train and went to Shibuya to go to this bar called Pyramid 5-5. And as you can see, I'm clearly just downing these glasses of whiskey. Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought that if I drink enough, I'll become interesting, you know? So I was just drinking because I felt so nervous, so awkward. I didn't know how to start a conversation with anyone. So I'm just looking around, trying to figure out, okay, who is my target? You know, I felt like an influencer too, because I'm like, oh yeah, I'm filming a YouTube video, you know, shouting at his bar and stuff. I felt like such an influencer. My full potential was not being unleashed. You know, no matter how long I waited, I still felt weird and shy and awkward. <laughs> and then this moment came when I met this freaking dude that was dressed up as Captain Jack Sparrow. Um, dude had the rings and everything. He was doing all the poses. He was like, yeah, Jack Sparrow vibes, you know. And then he started stealing this lady's ring. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to take your ring. I don't know. That entire situation was just so confusing to me. Like, I was like, wait, is this really happening? I don't get it. And at this moment, my friend Pele walks in, and he's a content creator as well. He makes the funniest videos um, on Instagram and stuff. You should check him out. We weren't planning on meeting up. This was like purely coincidental. That's how small Shibuya in Tokyo is. But I ended up joining him and his friends, and it was just a freaking blast. <laughs> Have you ever seen a fucking Jedi marry a plant? He's a guardian. Is he Mario? Mario? What the fuck? He's a garden. Anyways, the next clip is gonna be me doing the walk of shame back to my Airbnb because that's how it is. That 5 a.m. walk of shame hits really differently. After this, I rem faintly remember myself doing like bar hopping or something, and then I ended up at this really random party, I think. And that party was really weird, it was boring. And then I ended up losing my wallet or my phone or my bag. One of those three important things. I left it in the party and then I had to go back to the party and pick it up. But the memory is just really sketchy. So I'm, was I drunk? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so we're hopping into the next day, the next morning. Y'all, it is currently like 5 a.m. in the morning and I have to make a confession. I failed. I could not properly vlog Halloween in Tokyo. And I feel like I have to get a revenge. And I'm still figuring out what that revenge is gonna be. It goes, but I am freezing cold. I've been shivering for like five hours now. I have a really bad feeling that I'm gonna get a cold. That's just how my body works. It's not even about jinxing things. That's just how my body is. I just. 
get really sick when I don't take care of it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna have a little Halloween, not Halloween, Halloween's, Halloween, Halloween dinner session together. I should have known that vlogging on my own on Halloween is never going to work, but I didn't know. I did not know at all. Now I know though. I'm not even drunk enough to be drunk. I'm literally just sober and tired, which is the worst. Happy Halloween! So guys, on my first Halloween vlog, I couldn't vlog properly. So you know what we're gonna do? We're going for round two. We are going for round two of Halloween, but it's not really gonna be a proper, proper vlog vlog, but I'm just gonna show you what Shibuya looks like during Halloween through my phone. I'm but anyways, um, as you can see, I'm at my sister's place now. So I had to stay at the guest house because my sister's house wasn't available for the days that I was he um, coming here for. What? I stayed at the Airbnb, but now I'm here at my sister's place. I left her a gift. <laughs> Where did I put my cat ears? I was holding it a few seconds ago. Actually, it wasn't yesterday. It was actually the day before yesterday. But when I went out, I couldn't show you guys my cat ear and the final costume other than in that one frame, which was a very, <laughs> you couldn't really see what was happening. So I kind of want to show you guys the actual Halloween look, which is very mediocre. Honestly, I can't even call this a Halloween look. I just look like a person with cat ears. It's just that basic. I'm kind of nervous because it's cold. It's cold. Um, today I spent the entire day walking around Yokohama, which is my birth town. And I spent the whole day walking around Yokohama, which is freezing cold because it's a coast. And the night before, I went to Asakusa to look at the sky tree, and that day was cold. So on multiple days, I'm experiencing severe cold weather. So what's that gonna do to my body? I'm kind of concerned, but I'm not gonna put it out there in the universe. Um, I'm not manifest. I'm gonna reverse manifest good things and good vibes um, that I was being able to meet like really cool people the first night that I went out. Even though it didn't go, like it wasn't as lit as I assumed it would be, but maybe tonight will be different. But I was actually debating. I was like, I might not go, I might not go. But then I spoke to my friend and she's like, girl, the very nights that you're debating whether you should go or not are the nights that you should probably go out because you never know what's gonna happen. And look, on another way around, if something bad happens, then it might be like a, oh, it was a sign that I should have not gone out. There are two, there are two ways to look at things. And hopefully, actually, I know for sure that this night's gonna be fun. Um, I can't find my cat ears. Like three seconds ago, I had it. I don't know. Is it on my head? No, it's not. Where did I put my cat ears? The fuck? How do you not- how do I lose a cat ear? How does that happen to a person? I found it. It was on the floor. I dropped it. I remember. I was holding it in my hand and I felt something drop. And it was- it was the ear. It was the freaking cat ear. Okay. I'm gonna just do a full-fledged situation so that you guys can see um, the hair and what it's gonna look like tonight. Look, okay, I, I'm i on a low budget. This this was the maximum that I could do, okay? This was this was how far my creativity went. Cat, I'll be better next year. Next year, I don't know where I'll be for Halloween, but next year, I will do my best to be um, something a little bit more unique, like a character, not just an animal. <sighs> I don't know. I think Halloween is one of those nights where you should give up looking cute. And the moment you focus on looking cute, it's not as fun anymore. And I focused on looking cute. No, no, I'm lying. It's not, it's not like it's not as fun anymore, but it's just basic. <laughs> it's fine. My personality isn't basic, so like totally like dressing basic is fine. Anyways, okay, I have to actually focus and eat my kebab bowl. I also made hot water because I am combating every single immunocompromisation that I'm putting myself through. Anyways, we have a kebab bowl. Itadakimasu! Shut up. Shut up. This is so good. I forgot I was filming. Oh no. Goto Y'all saw my ugly chew. Anyways, this is the 
that's the food. And yeah, I guess that was how my 2022 Halloween went. And this year, I'm not really doing much, and I think it's okay. Last year's Halloween was quite epic. I met a lot of great people, made some new friends, carved in some memories, and maybe I damaged my liver a bit too much. So this year, I'm gonna take it off. Next year, I'm gonna come back hard, man. Whether it's gonna be in Tokyo, freaking I don't know what country, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and ho ho ho. It's almost Christmas season. Hi. 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 Hi.